you are under the age of 18 and you are watching this video, please stop now. This content is not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here to share with you guys another project that you could use to package or house some goodies that you want to send to a crafty friend or whatever you want to do um, with the purse. Um, so if you haven't checked out this video, I did like a little show and tell of this super cute triangle purse um, project and a lot of you have completed this because we did a live and that video was up as well and we did this one from start to finish and um, a lot of you have tagged me on Instagram so thank you so much because there's a little contest going on if you haven't checked it out check out my live I will put the video for this and this one down in the description box so going along with that theme of packaging up goodies I wanted to create another purse and I have some other uh, templates that I'm creating so that move moving on from purses but I do have quite a few ideas for purses that I wanted to share with you guys because they're so super cute so adorable and they're versatile and things like that so I wanted to share those with you so um, and it's a great way to have a little decor piece after the goodies have been emptied out so um, this is a project number one in the purse series so to speak so let me show you what I came up with for the second purse project <laughs> it's so cute look at it oh my gosh I am calling this my satchel it is a satchel and I know my daughter says it's not a satchel it's a camera bag whatever you want to call it camera bag satchel it is such a cute project and it holds it is um dimensions you can use your eight by eight paper because this is seven by seven with a one and a half inch gap so you can shove stuff load a lot of things and it's flat like it's super mailable like this is doable if you want to swap projects and this turned out super super cute i use the prima um some type of blossom um paper some it's a pretty paper it's an older paper but it's still cute you know I love Prima Prima paper doesn't run out of style in my opinion so anyway so I am um gonna share this with you if you guys want a tutorial I mean it's a super simple super simple satchel to put together but if you want a tutorial on this leave a comment down below if we get to like 100 likes on the video, then I'll know that you guys are interested in, in it because I don't want to make a tutorial and you guys are like, well, duh, Tamika, we know how to put that together and I'm just wasting my time and yours. So if this video gets to 100 likes, you guys comment down below. I will definitely put together a tutorial. It is quick and it is easy. So let me know. But anyway, this is how it looks. And I even have a little handle. Now you can make this handle out of ribbon. I made mine out of paper. And then, girl, I had the nerve to put eyelets along the top to, to mimic like the little uh, latch so you can close it tighter on the satchel gold eyelets aren't they so adorable on the side I have a purse or a satchel charm um, and this was super shabby it's actually a one inch book charm I have a tutorial on this I've done a swap with this uh, these are super super cute easy to make um, and they're just adorable to hang off the side cute little purse charm this one I didn't make it came from a swap but it matched it matched perfectly I mean look at that super cute so that's my little satchel charm that's on the side of my satchel and you know how some of them have like little um pockets I meant to put a little gold pearl I meant to put a little pearl a little heart right here pause there we go <laughs> a little flap a little closer you can even go as far as putting little buckles I wanted to create something that you guys did not have to use a cutting file for because I'm doing off the page so that's sort of the thing we're kind of leaving cutting files to that I didn't want you to have to do a whole bunch of dies for this this is all made with your paper trimmer your scoreboard a bone folder and cardstock tape done super simple so Anyway, this is the little pocket that, you know, the little satchel have, like a little pocket. So this is Velcro down. You can use magnets for this if you uh, feel like you wanted to have it a little bit more cleaner, a little more elegant, less noisy look. Use your magnets, but I'm okay with Velcro because I don't have any magnets right now. Um, but I have a bow and then some embellishments from my stash, um, adorning my satchel, even a bow up here. Um, so this little pocket, you can put some goodies in here. You can put some flatback pearls. Let me, let me just grab a little pack so you guys can see, have a little visual. So what if you wrap this up as a little goodie? These came from Michaels. Remember these? You put this in here. This purse it can hold 
that or this pocket can hold that boom you got a nice little goodie in there how stinking cute how cute is that? So this is like mimicking some buttons. I added some lace trim, some flat back pearl along the edges. And again, this Velcro is too. But again, you can use magnet. Look at that. So in the inside, oh, the handle, you know, you can move it because it has brads. So I wanted it to be able to move. I didn't want a stiff handle for this. So you can move the handle because it has gold brads tucked on the side there. So you open it up. And let me show you. I didn't make... All of this. I think I made one thing, but look how much stuff is in here. So I made these. These are some cute little toothpick um, little embellishments. So when you're if you're gifting this to someone, you can add like a pack of this. You can add, look, there's some um, bag toppers in here, three bag toppers. You have a pack of four rosettes. Even the top is decorated a little bit. You got seven inches to work with as far as packing up your goodies. You have another little shaker embellishment, two of them. Look, all this is in there. And then there's this uh, rosette. Super cute. Just super cute stuff. Now, this is the only thing that I made, but I have stash, guys. So build your stash so you can be able to pass these racks. So all of this goes inside. And then, girl, the inside is done. Look. The inside, you know, the inside of your purse got to be lined. You got to have a purse liner. So all of this goes back in here. And then you still, it's still some height in there. I mean, you still could put some other stuff at the top, wrap some tissue paper or what have you in there. And then you're done. Even if you want to on the back, look how pretty that cherry blossom. That's the name of the paper. Um, hint, hint. You can even put like a little pocket back here, a little accordion pocket, shove some goodies in there. Maybe I'll do that. If you guys want a tutorial, I'll add a little pocket to the back and, you know, good to go with that. So, cause there is like a little zipper pocket on the satchel too, facing when you put your satchel on. So I can put a little pocket right here and yeah, it's just super cute. So anyway, I thought that was a really cute idea to add to the already purse idea that we have for these, um, which are the same purse design, two different papers um, that we did. Both of them will be linked down below, as I said earlier. But this is just another cute way to package your goodies and send them off. If you're in a swap, if you want to do something good, this is a cute, a cute way to hand make uh, something and send it off. So uh, let me know down below, guys, if you'd like a tutorial, the video gets 100 likes at least. I will do one. It's no problem, but it's super simple and I know you guys will like it. So like this video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. If you guys are wanting to see more from me, hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video and I will talk to you guys later. All right. Bye.